is up my fellow wrenchers John turning wrenches 85 here how y'all doing today um, we're gonna be working on the one Toyota Camry here um, long story short uh, I tried to do the little things to try to get it fixed eventually we're gonna have to replace the catalytic converter I ordered one off of Amazon I know people are going to be like, you shouldn't have ordered off of Amazon. It was $135 for it. The mid pipe for it. Comes all the way from the exhaust manifold uh, down to the cat. Where it unbolts off of there. Uh, there's three three uh, nuts you have to take off on the exhaust manifold. And uh, the hanger, hanger has uh, two 14, mil, 14, 14 millimeter bolts. And I think the um, or the catalytic converter goes to the muffler pipe. Uh, is I think a 14 also. Um, but before then, I have to uh, sell a mower. Uh, this one right here that's in my uh, in big red here. Um, I didn't show this on the channel, but um, I did some yard work for my cousin. Well, she would have been my cousin. In a way, but anyway, well, okay, there we go. Anyway, um, her husband messaged me on the Facebook Messenger and said, Hey, if you can uh, cut my backyard for me because the pull string uh, pull cord broke on this on our mower here, um, if you can cut that, uh, uh, can you take this as a payment? And you know, I've, I offered to fix the pull cord for him, and they said they didn't have the storage space because of their kids so they gave this mower to me as a payment so I fixed the pull cord on it there I put a new pull cord on it stuff um, cleaned it up uh, I was missing a hubcap on this side or that side one of them was missing a hubcap I have one in parts in my bin bin of wheels so I threw one on there uh, put it up there for a hundred bucks, and I gotta go meet the guy over at uh, the mall. Uh, not far from where I work at. There, so you know, Troy built, got the good quantum engine, 190 cc. There, unfortunately, I don't have the bag. Um, like I said, one little issue I had, I fixed it. Um, started doing a rattle because I had to redo the pull cord, and I forgot to put that little um, piece. I don't know if I can show you guys. Let me see. Let me get you in there. There's a piece right in there, in that 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 where that bracket holds on to the the recoil there that protects the governor arm linkage. That piece was loose, so every time you would pull the pull the uh, cord, it would rattle. So I went in there. I took that that three eighths bolt out and. Uh, Put that back on the recoil cover, snapped it on there, so that, that fixed that. Uh, sharpened the blade, I changed the oil in it. Um, it's got a first fire spark plug, but hey, it fires first first fire. <laughs> uh, put a new uh, air filter in it because the other one was done. There, um, you know, starts first pull. I would start it up for you guys, but I already got it strapped up. But trust me, it runs. So uh, we'll do a video uh, of me selling it there. So I got to meet the guy here at uh, 4.30 at the mall. There, and uh, we'll see if we can sell this bad boy, okay? So stay tuned for that, and then we'll come back and we'll start taking a look at what we got to do underneath my uh, old one Toyota Camry. Gotta love Tennessee. Everybody thinks Chicago and New York got traffic? We got traffic. The good old South still has traffic. <laughs> Um, just to let you guys know ahead of time, uh, I'm not going to be able to probably film it because the guy is already there already because I was going to try to get my camera set up so you guys can see the situation, but he already showed up there. So, fortunately, we're just going to head there and uh, I'll let you know how it turns out because, like I said, he's already there. I got stuck in traffic, unfortunately. So, uh, we'll see you guys there shortly. 
All right, everybody. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to show it. Like I said, he uh, came over. It was already here already. I um, wasn't going to go ahead and just set up a camera and do all that that stuff just to um, get a video of me doing a transaction. Um, like I said, he was pleased with it. It starts first pull. No issues with it. You know, I'm honest with the people. I know um, some of my small engine people, uh, we know we do stuff a little bit different how we sell tac uh, selling tactics. And, hey, whatever whatever brings the brings home the bacon at the end of the day okay um with me i'm i'm honest of what they do uh what i do to it because i want to just build a reputation of hey i'm if you have any issues with it just let me know i'll try to rectify it because i want to you know put a good reputation out there you know hey they you know they can recommend somebody say hey you know this guy sold a mower to me and you know, he was honest with me up front, told me, you know, what all he's done to it and all this stuff there. In which, you know, I go the extra mile. I sharpen the blade. I change the oil. Uh, put a new air filter in it. And, um, you know, no big deal. And um, I would show you the money, but uh, he Venmo me uh, the $100 for it. And, um, like I said, he was impressed because it fired up first pull, self propel worked. And he wasn't worried about it because it didn't have a bag or the side discharge because he said he's just going to mulch with it there, which, um, good mower for a hundred bucks. Um, if I didn't have the Toro one, I would probably keep it, <laughs> but, uh, that's, that's okay. Um, uh, I'm still actually surprised. I'm selling mowers at the end of no, uh, October here. Um, so I'm going to head home now and, um, we'll go back to, uh, taking a look at what we got to do to my Camry there. All right, guys. So it's the next day. I uh, sold that uh, Troy belt mower to a uh, gentleman. Uh, met him at the wall. You know, got a hundred bucks for that song. I'm happy for that. We got a helicopter fly overhead. So uh, we're we'll gonna go ahead and start uh, showing you what I gotta do to take this um, uh, mid pipe off uh, from the exhaust manifold down to uh, past where the catalytic converter is. <coughs> Um, I soaked uh, two of the nuts, 14 millimeter nuts, on top a few days ago back. Um, I got to soak the ones underneath there, and they're a little rusty, but they're not that bad, so maybe I can get them off. But I'm going to still clean them off with my uh, drill and wire brush, and uh, I'll spray some WD 40 on there, uh, penetrating oil on there to do that. Sorry, I'm dealing with a headache today. So I'm going to show you guys real quick this pipe. Uh, I Paid 135 for it off of Amazon. I had to order the donut gasket separate because it doesn't come with that gasket. It comes with the gasket for the, the back of it and the, the bolts and the washers and stuff, which I'm going to replace the bolts anyway. And I got the gasket for it. The gasket there. <coughs> this is the donut gasket I had to get for it. I already measured it up. It's going to fit on the exhaust side that goes to the manifold. There, so I already looked at it before I even pulled it out of there. So I ordered that off of Amazon. Let me pull off this pipe here and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I haven't, I'm not taking it out of the plastic, but here it is. Right here. It cost me $135 there. And, um, and of course, you got the flex pipe right here. Uh, this one's a little smaller than the one I got, but that's okay. Uh, it looks like it's good quality. I got it from a place off of Amazon called Auto Savers 88. There. So I think with tax and all, I think it was like 148 something. But I don't think that's going to be bad. I think I could do this myself, and I like to try to do stuff myself. Everybody's going to be like, you should have took it to a professional. I'm not really up for that stuff, so... I try to do it. I like doing the work myself on it. It gives me some sort of accomplishment on the matter there. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, get you guys off the perch here. I'm gonna bring you guys underneath my car. I got jack stands underneath it, but I really need it in the front. But I got it on ramps in the front. Got the e-brake on. I got it up on jack stands here. It's not as high as I want it to be. 
but I think I'll have enough room for it anyway. So I will uh, we'll do that real quick. I'll bring you guys underneath the car and I'll show you guys what all I got to take off for. Alright, we're going to go underneath my car now. Got my, uh, my creeper. Here, I'm going to get underneath here. Oh, let me get under here correctly. Alright. Uh, we got to go up to the other front. See, I'll show you. Of course, this is, that's dark underneath here. There's the exhaust pipe here on this side. And stuff. Oh, that looks good. Now, this is where the challenging part is. I replaced the the oxygen sensor on here before. I had to go underneath the I had to go into the a grommet underneath the car. There, where is it at? It's on this side over there, I think. There, I replaced that. Now this is going to be the fun part. I think if I wire brush that. Let that soak for a little bit. I think I can get that nut and bolt and washer off there. It don't look that rusty there. And of course, I gotta come along here. This is where the uh, catalytic converter is, and go up here. I know I, I know I got an oil leak. It's from the uh, valve cover gasket there. So I know you're gonna be like, "There's an oil leak." I know. See that flex pipe? I think it's seen better days. To, and then I come up there, and of course that elbow right up there. There's two 14, 14 millimeter nuts I got to take off. No, three of them I got to take off, and then I got to take this hanger off, which the bolt is right there where I'm shining at. I got to take that bolt off. I think that's a 14 or a 12. I think a 18 auto 818. 1A Auto said it was a 14, I think. There, so I gotta take that off. So I'm gonna let these soak, these two bolts, real quick, and see if we can get anything on there. I don't know if I'll film it. I'll try to. I got you guys sideways. Sorry, I didn't realize that. I thought I had the camera on the right way. Anyway, I'll take these two 14s off real quick, and then we'll. Uh, Try to get this um, off of here. All right, y'all. This is all you should probably need to get those off, depending on how bad. If somebody has to replace the front pipe with the cat on there, um, you're gonna need a 12 um, so, uh, wrench, a 14 wrench, your extension, a socket wrench. Um, you're going to need a 12, uh, 14, uh, socket, or 12 socket, depending on what you got to do. Um, this is, you know, wrenches I don't keep in this one box here. This is a Stanley box, but, uh, just in case, I do have 12 or 14 in the bigger, bigger size that I can use my little robust, um, uh, socket wrench if not I, I got my breaker bar I can use which probably more likely I'll, I'll try to do that I'll try to use the breaker bar on it first um, for your situation though on your Camry depending on what you all you got to do um, this is mainly what all tools you will probably need to take it off with if yours is not bad now I live in Tennessee I don't know where this car originally was from it don't look all that rusty I know it's rusty but not like you know like I saw one video on 1800 Auto where they tried to take off the bolts off uh, from the cat uh, mid pipe back from there and it snapped in half. Um, I hope that doesn't happen with me. Uh, we'll see how it goes along as we do. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go. I'll put you guys underneath the car. We'll try to see if we can get this off. Um, like I said, this should be all the tools you should need for it. Uh, probably a breaker bar, maybe. I'm going to use a breaker bar just in case. We'll try the socket wrench first. If it doesn't work, then I'll use a breaker bar. So this is all the tools you should need right there. All right, I got you guys set up on my mini tripod here. We're going to go ahead and uh, try to uh, clean those bolts off before I go and uh, try to take them off of there. 
I mean, it doesn't really matter if they snap. That's no big deal. Um, but I just want to make it easier on myself to get them off of there. So I'm going to try to get underneath here. Um, I got my shop light underneath here. I got my WD-40 ready. Um, I'm not, not going to guarantee I'm going to get in the way. But let's see what we can try to clean up off of here. clean the best I can. Not like musty one. Well, like, I guess you can say I'm almost, not almost like him, but, you know, I try to work with what I got. safety goggles on just in case I don't know let me get this out of the way let me let me park that back over that way I'm missing the cage off this light so I can't point it to the ground like I should okay I'll spray a little bit of lubrication for the nation I hope I got it think so okay I'm gonna let those soak for a little bit we'll see if we can get that thing to pop off with her I'll bring you guys maybe along for the ride on that one so let those two bolts soak uh, we'll see if we can get those off of there so I'll give it about a, a, it'll be a few seconds for you guys, it'll, it'll be a little bit for me. Alright y'all, I'm going to go try to get that one bolt off of there. I'm going to see if it works. I'm going to try the, the 14 on there and see if that works first. I'm going to see if I can work it loose. Um, they've got the breaker bar on standby just in case. Uh, I probably have to go this way with it. All right, let's see if this see if this will even budge. There, hang on, you guys. Now you gonna get you guys a little bit. Let's see if I can rock it a little bit. Uh, nope. Okay. We're gonna have to bring out the big guns, boys. I was already ready for it. Like I said, it came with new nuts and bolts. So I'm not really worried about if I break it, but or rather it be a little bit easier take off of there all right the breaker bar or we call it the cheater bar whatever way you want to call it I call it the bar that's gonna give me the strength to get it off of there Let's 
try it. Let's try it this way instead. So I'm trying to get myself a enough room to get in there and see if I can pop it. The only problem is the way the socket's lining up. By the time I get up there, I'm already hitting the frame. Let's see. Let's try it again. Funny how the breaker bar, it won't go on there unless you Alright. There we go. Let's see. See. Let's get you guys over. Let's see. Uh, are you serious? It actually loosened? <laughs> are you serious? Are you serious? Are you really kidding me? No freaking way! <laughs> Yow! I cannot believe it. That's freaking awesome. Uh, here. Oh, let me try it with a regular socket wrench real quick. Oh, it's turning. Ah, it's kind of thicker. Okay. I thought maybe I'd get lucky. Yeah, buddy. We're turning wrenches today. Get it? Yes, sir. Nice. Look, I didn't have to break a bolt. That is cool. Oh, sorry. Look at that. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now, could the other side be that lucky? Probably not. That's cool. I don't know if I'd ever say it. That's a star shaped one. Bolt. I don't think I'll reuse it. Probably not. Okay, let's see if we can get the other side off. Let's see, where did my uh, breaker bar go? Just had it. I got so excited, I just put my breaker bar. Never mind, it's underneath my creeper. Let's see. I think we go two for two. This one might have to go a little bit deeper in. Okay. 
Alrighty. Well, we, okay. I'm gonna try to get you guys right there. Let's see. Bolts right there. No, you guys are not even looking at it. Tell me to move the camera. There we go. All right. Now, like I said, I'm doing this at home. I don't have a fancy jack. Stand, I've got it on just jack stands with the e-brake on and on ramps. Holding this thing. All right. Let's see. Now this is going to be the fun part because I'm on the opposite side here of my car and I can't get a good angle. Maybe if I try it this way. Nope. Oh, I might have to go that way. That's right, I do like I did last time. I forgot that nut's gonna be in the, in the way. I apologize if I'm in the way. I might have to go a different angle, boys. Hang on, I'm gonna switch angles real quick. I'll bring you guys back. All right, y'all. I'm on this side now, on the driver's side. Give me more better access here to see if I can bust this nut loose. Okay, let's see. Um, it's probably gonna go that way. longer for a reason but I wish it was a little bit shorter okay fortunately my breaker bar is hitting right on the ground I heard something. I don't know if that's the bolt breaking or what. Let me try it this way. Oh, it's trying to slip off of there. Let's try something. You guys watching? I'm sorry if my elbows are in the way. I apologize. No luck on that side. My car just needed to be a little bit higher up. <laughs> Try something. Nope, not that time. I do got a little one I can use. I'm just let me, all right, let me try a different angle approach. What this did. Let's see. Oh. 
Creeper is actually getting on my nerves right now. All right, let's see. Let me get my rubber mat. I like that creeper, don't get me wrong, but right now it's, it's being a pain. <laughs> All right. Ugh. All right, let's try now. Okay, that's better. Let's try. Ready? One, two. One, two. Uh, something, something give. Uh, something give. I don't know if it was the bolt. Are you serious? I'm gonna be two for two? No way. Hey, we got something, guys. I think we got it. Oh, it's trying to turn the nut. Oh, okay, let me go get my, my socket. French. If you guys would have handed me a 14 millimeter, I would have been more appreciated. What did this do with it? Over there on the other side. Is this where, where I was at? Alright, hang on. Hang on, boys. Hang on, it was just right there in front of me. All right, hang on, hang on, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yes sir, oh, sorry. Wow. got it folks we got it boys and girls yes sir wow I never thought that was gonna come off of there I thought I was gonna break them wow there's some rust on there all right put these bolts over here all right that piece off all right uh, I gotta get this off all right I gotta get the hanger off it's right above you it's a 12 I'm gonna do that real quick like I said it's a hanger it's right there hang on okay I gotta get that hanger off right there okay so we're gonna do that real quick all right I'll do that I'll get the front bolts off we'll get this thing off of here okay I'm not going to bore you guys with that, and then we'll show you what this pipe looks like. You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm not going to cut corners. I'm going to show you guys everything I'm doing here on this. There's an exhaust hanger. It's right here. It's a 12. Now, this should come off with no problem. I cannot believe those exhaust bolts came off of there. I know I live in the south. 
I don't know where this car originally came from, okay? But, I swore that those bolts were gonna break. Seriously, thought they were gonna break. Okay. Oh, that was on there. Not even on there that tight. That's off of there. All right. Now, let me guys get you in a better angle. We're going to go around the front now. And we're going to go ahead and get that bolt off, okay? So, let me guys get you guys around the front. There. Real quick. I probably won't be able to show this part. Uh, there's another exhaust hanger bolt I gotta get off right here too. Okay. So this 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 little clip. Okay, so I gotta get this piece clip off here. Um, here's the 14 bolts right there. There's one there, one right there, and uh, one right there. Okay, so I'm going to get these off. I am not going to really bore you. I'm just going to get these off of here. And we'll take this pipe off. We'll take a look at it. And we're going to look at that Cadillac converter and see how bad it was. All right, guys. My Cadillac converter is off. Uh, here. Um, had to... Um, I had to take a little bit of a fight because there was one more bolt I had to take off for this hanger. Um, there was a clamp right here on this one of 12 millimeter bolts I had to take off. There was actually two, not one. Got that off of there. So, this is going to come off of there like this. Save that for the new one. My son is going to here. He's going to be riding on his little scooter. There. Abby's ducks are over here. He flew over here. It's right there. Like they flew over the fish? Yeah, he flew. It's over there. Oh, My neighbor's got some ducks. He's got a geese and a duck. And the, ge the duck flew over the fence, <laughs> over the carport, and into the yard. Anyway. Let's take a look at this. Get my flashlight. I don't know if it was clogged or if it was just dirty. The only problem is I can't see through there. Let's see. I forgot to clean the thing off and now I got oil on my hand. Oh, sorry. Might have been from me. Anyway, let's bring it over here to the truck. I'm going to set it up here. Take a look at it. I don't see. Yes, 
don't see really see anything but I don't know you can't really see through it let me see let me shine a light there go. hey Gavin do yeah. daddy a favor real quick uh -huh. take my flashlight and shine it through that end of the pipe if you can if you can get it on that end I'm gonna look at something see if it's clogged I can't tell I'm gonna switch it out anyway but I just wanted to see it's on I can't see anything through it. I wonder if it was clogged. Alright, let me try something different. Let me get a bigger flat light. Alright, with the help of my son here. Uh -huh. He's going to shine that shop light through here. I'm going to show you guys this. I showed, already looked at it already, but before we cut the camera back on. Here, Gavin, shine that shop light through there. I don't see nothing. You guys see any daylight? Look, I got the camera all the way, lens all the way in there. There's no daylight. It was blowing exhaust out, but you couldn't hardly see any light. There's no light through there. So I think this thing was clogged up. That's crazy. You can't even see anything. No. Here, let me show you an example. Here, here. Uh -huh. Here, hold this for Dad. Oh, here, hold this camera up here. Oh. Showing it where I'm at, right here. We're going to pull this off. We're going to compare apples to apples. So mm -hmm. that one, the new one, to the old one. Yes. Well, I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same. It's going to be some difference. All right. All right, buddy. I want you to do me a favor. Let's see. Let's see. Let's make sure I'm just not crazy. Here, give me the, shine the light through that one. Yeah, I can see light through there. Take it away. All right. I'm going to put you guys in here. Gavin, yeah, you can shine that again real quick. You might not see it. There's a little dot through there, and that's the light through there. Okay? You might not see it there. Yeah, I can see it through there. Yeah, I know you guys can't, but there's a light through there. Now you go to this one back of this one let's go back over here again to the old one the original oem on here gavin if you can do it one more time and i'll let you go i'm gonna stick my head in here hold on take it away okay put it back in yeah that's clogged up that is clogged up because there's no light through there as you can see there is no light coming through there there so, that one, yeah, the duckies are out. Mm -hmm. My neighbor's ducks are out. The other one, like I said, the, the mallard one came over here. I think he wants to get back over. I might have to open the fence for him, buddy, and let him out. All right, I'll bring you guys back. We're going to go and probably put this one down there. We'll see if there's any difference. Well, we'll, we'll look at it real quick. The hanger's different on here. Cat court's going to be a lot different there let's see let's just measure it up this flex pipe's a little bit more looser so i wonder if that's another problem with it too it's currently fighting the fence yeah uh, so i think it's gonna match up that one's got a little bit of the this hangs out a little bit more for the lip which that one doesn't that's all right though Let's see. That's gonna match up. Is this the the flex pipe here? Is this gonna be a little bit different? But so that's rusty. okay. It looks like it came out of nineteen eighties movie. Well, this is a twenty year old car. Oh, two thousand one. Like almost nineteen eighties. Yeah. About twenty years off, but. I think it's gonna work out. So I'm gonna start switching hardware together. We're gonna bolt this thing back on here, and we'll see if there's any difference on here, on how it runs. Guys, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and up. Uh, try to clean the surfaces up here on this thing the best I can that honeycomb looks like it's where it needs to be on there okay anyway I'm gonna go ahead and clean these surfaces up before I put the mount this one pipe up uh, front pipe up I'm gonna try to clean it off of course I lost 
can't find my safety goggles, so I'm probably going to do this blind. Let's see. This drill is not... Figured it'd be quicker doing it that way. Probably not gonna be. Probably gonna have to take a wire brush. Yep. Let me go grab a wire brush out of my cup thing real quick. Alright, let's see what we got. It'll be easier doing it to the other pipe over there that mounts to the uh, the muffler. I'm a left-hander, but I'm doing this right-handed. Try to clean these threads up too. I can't get my my drill brush in here to to do it. So. Try to clean this the best we can. That's all we can do. Not gonna be perfect. Nothing ever is. All right. Get the, the nuts. I'm gonna need the 14. Here, let's see if we can get this mounted up. Here, I might have to move you guys back a second. Hold on. Uh, move you guys over a second. Let me see if I can get this pipe over here. Timmy, uh, let me get the gasket. Okay, get that gasket lined up there. It's gonna crush anyway, so let's go ahead and get it on there. Get it lined up. That has knocked the camera over. Sorry, guys. Get you guys over this way instead. different but it's okay all right let's get uh let me get one of these nuts started on here just to hold it that 14 there it is all right this is at least get these in here so that it holds the pipe so I can get the rest of the way I got the I got the right one See a socket. Hmm. I had that 14. Where'd it go? There it is. 
I had the 12. I don't need the 12 just yet. Just need the 14. Um, now that's that 14. You gotta have a long extension 14 for these for these nuts to put on here because that and I had to put two long extensions on here to to do this. So I'm trying to get them at least started, and I had to crank them down the rest of the way. On there. This one I'm probably going to have to go. The pipe's a little different than the other one. So, right. I'll probably, once I get it cranked down, it'll go on there. Better. Let's see. I'm probably going to go on this way. Let's just get some threads on it. There. Can you guys see what I'm... Oh, hard. Apologize that I knocked you guys over that like that. Wasn't trying to. Um, just want to make sure that uh, gas gets a little loose. I just hope it's going to wind up like it should. I think it will though. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, tighten these nuts down first. I don't have the tool always with me. Oh, I need them. Oh, that's, oh, there it is. Pocket wrench is right in front of me. I switched shirts because that shirt that I just showed you, you guys probably saw I was wearing. My friend Monica had made for me. It's nice, but I don't, I don't want to get it that dirty. And for what I'm doing right under here, I may be wearing it probably. Get that one started. That one started. Maybe I should have cleaned these off first. Cranking like so much at a time on on there. That one's just being a little difficult, that one. Hmm. 
Spray a little WD-40 on there and see if that helps it. Really? I had to push up against it? Huh. I thought I was tightening down. I was like, oh, I got it easy. Alright, I'll bring you guys back. I'm not going to bore you guys doing all this. So I'll get that tightened down. We'll get that to the mid part. Alright, I spared you guys all the trouble. I put all the nuts and bolts on there. Uh, I had a little issue, unfortunately, with one of the studs. Um, they were originally on this uh, car. Um, let me get out here in the light so you guys can see it. Let's get you guys out here. I'll show you guys what happened. Uh... Remember I told, uh, I was telling you that I thought I had it tight, they end up stripping out the studs. So I had to get some from O'Reilly's, see this is right, right there, this is the one that came out from there. Because this went into the top of the manifold, down, this stripped out on top, and this one really stripped out on this one, here. Um, I had to order new ones from O'Reilly's, and unfortunately the nuts were also stripped out so to the point where I couldn't retap them um, so I had to uh, go through my hardware uh, drawer in my shed and I got some 14 millimeter nuts to put on there to uh, fix that there here's one of the, the is this one of them here yeah. can I bring you guys I'll bring you guys out here this is lighter it was about a week later, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I had everything, a lot of things going on. This is all stripped out right here. That nut, unfortunately. So, here's the issue I had also, I had to do. I had to order another gasket. Now, for anybody watching this, um, where did I put the gasket? I ordered this off of eBay. Um, I had it here. It's a Felpro one. Uh, the part number is 26232. I had it here, the package. I don't know what to do with it now. I just had it here. Anyway, here, I'll show you the old pipe. It'll fit on the old pipe. It didn't fit all the way onto the new pipe very well. See, I, I'll, I'll just give you an example. That gasket, let's say I had it in my hand right now. It would fit on this one, snug. The pipe that I ordered from Amazon, uh, it was loose. So I had to line it up just right for it to uh, work. And um, I already... Um, I'm at, oh, just, no, that's not it. Uh, here's the other issue I had. I had to order one of these, I had to get one of these tools from AutoZone. It's a, it's a universal uh, stud extractor. I had to get that to pull those studs out because I could not pull those studs out because they were so stripped out. I had to buy this. This was a $16.99 part. A tool I had to buy for that 
<coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, um, I'm going to get you guys under here. I got my shop light, actually, this time around. So, let me turn that on. I already, I already had it running, unfortunately, so I'm sorry. I'm going to show you guys. This is all hooked up here. Let's see if we can get you guys underneath there. There's the studs I had to put on there. See if you guys can see. There's the studs I had to put on there. I had to put the nut on there, screw them in with my socket wrench, and then until they bottomed out, and then I took them off that way. I got the hanger on there, got the gasket on there. Um, that goes to the, the converter to the exhaust muffler I use the gasket they, they have with it there um, got the hanger on there okay now for the piece to, of the resistance let's go in here and start it up now, like I said, that gasket didn't line up perfectly. I had to make it fit. So I'm just forewarning you right now. If you got one of these pipes from Amazon, the converter pipe, um, I'm, I'm not sure what gasket you have to get for it. And I wish I knew, unfortunately. I'm not able to tell you. I thought the gasket I had was going to be the right one. It fits on the old pipe. It, won't, it doesn't fit on this one very well. But anyway, I'm going to start this up for you guys. Get this put some light on the subject it's, it's cloudy here today it's been raining so I'm sorry of course the light wants to go the other direction there we go all right here I'll rub it up it actually sounds a little bit better not bad so far let's come to the exhaust Before I got in front of the exhaust and it smelled. It actually don't smell it actually smells cleaner now. Oh, foggy. Sorry. Sorry. Hang on. Apologize. Stuck you guys right there. I can actually stick my nose almost in there now and it doesn't smell. Before it smelled like rotten fuel because of that um clogged catalytic converter. So I think I got it fixed. I think I got that gasket lined up. I'll double check it to make sure. It was smoking. It's not doing it now. And she's a happy camper now. Listen to that. I think it could use some spark plugs. Even though it runs okay. But now it sounds happy. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. I had the brake on. It's still underneath the... I still got a... Uh, I still got a valve cover gasket leak I need to fix on on this one here. Um, that's the only issue, I think. Um, I tried to ha I had a code try to pop up for the gas cap as well. So... Uh, I think that gas cap that I got from the junkyard is no good. I don't think it's sealing right. And I think I'm going to get another one uh, before then. Because it's trying to say something's going on with the, can the EVAP canister. And I don't think it's it, honestly. I think that gas cap I got is probably not the right one. Or it's probably the right one. It's just not um, sealing right there. So, <coughs> All right. Uh, let's get... Uh, Let's get situated here. Let me clean up some stuff and I'll come right back, okay? I think we got it this time. Okay, guys. Y'all. Um, I think we got it fixed. I'll keep monitoring it to uh, make sure. Um, like I said before, when I had the, the original catalytic converter on there, it, the fuel smelled awful on the exhaust. 
Now, right now it doesn't smell like that. That's a good thing. I'll keep an eye on it, but I'm not going to get rid of the, the old exhaust and Cadillac converter uh, just in case I need need it and and stuff. And I can get that fixed. Um, this is the gasket I had to order. This is the part number for it right here. Uh, like I said, it'll work on that that old uh, your Toyota Camry uh, a Cadillac converter, a exhaust manifold to Cadillac converter that goes to the top pipe. Uh, like I said, for that one, it didn't fit because the way the 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 way it that sticks out on that little knob of it of the pipe. Uh, that's that's the only issue I had. I had to make it, you know, adjust it to make it fit, and I think I got it on there. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, this helps me pass the mission, so uh, I'll be good as gold there. Um, like I said, um, I got a, um, my 30-day uh, thing ran out to drive around. Uh, I'll see if I can drive it Monday to a mission to see if it passes. I hope it does. Uh, then uh, after that, I got to replace the valve cover gasket and, and fix that leak because I think that's where all my issue is. What you saw underneath the car. Uh, it was leaking there, so uh, it's getting dark. Uh, it's been a long, like I said, this video's probably lasted over a week. I mean, a week or week and a half doing it because uh, I had to wait on parts. Uh, the gasket I ordered for it uh, came from California off of eBay. Uh, I only paid seven dollars and twenty-five cents because I checked O'Reilly's and all them. They didn't have it, uh, so I had to do it that way. So. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, get, just give me a thumbs down. Just let me know what it is uh, you didn't like about it. But like I said, I do this. I'm not. A, I'm not considering myself a mechanic. I just consider myself almost like a backyard mechanic. I'd rather work on my own car than having to take it to somebody else to do it. I'd rather be self-taught to do it because I fix lawnmowers on the side and I work on my own vehicles, whether it's this. Toyota Camry behind me, big red that's on the left, right side of you guys right now. You guys can't see it. And my mom's uh, Mercedes, her 1982 Mercedes, 240D. So uh, I want you guys to thank you for watching. Subscribe to me here if you haven't. Um, uh, follow me on Instagram. Keep on wrenching, y'all. I'll see you guys next time on Turning Wrenches. Y'all take care now. Fix this time.